Hey everybody, welcome back to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and it's pretty late at night. I'm uh, pounding monsters and five hour energy, like monster energy drinks, and uh, trying to pump out a ton of tutorials tonight for you guys to help you guys out. In this tutorial, uh, this time we're going to use key light some more and um, improve our keyer and our key here so that it's a, um, a little bit better and more true to the color and everything like that so it'll be easier to composite onto a background later on so um, uh, we're gonna be going over some of these um, effects here or these properties and uh, settings and just going over uh, a decent amount of them to see what's gonna happen to our uh, footage just to let you know that some of these properties won't work on uh, this footage because it's not going to have all the problems that um, all these properties encompass. So um, things like sometimes when you're uh, green screening like a woman or something like that, and her hair is all all over the place, you uh, it's hard to do, especially if she has blonde hair on like a green screen background. You need to input these uh, different or use some of these different properties all around here there's so many to go over so we'll just start now and I'll stop talking I will shut my uh, steak hole as I like to call it because that's all we eat is steak all day let's go um, so the first thing um, that I want to go over is this uh, despill bias and um, what that does is if you click on the um, uh, the eyedropper is what it's called and you go over to somewhere where you kinda think you may have lost some color so maybe in the hand if I bring that in it's going to restore some of the color that was in the that like may have been in the hand or something like that um, as you can see when I did that however this uh, strap gained some of the color of the hand so that's something that you need to be careful of so I'll hit Control Z, and you can see how the strap was a, a different color. Now, if I use turn off my uh, this FX button up here, but at the top of the key light, we can see how um, the color, if any color has been lost anywhere. So um, I know that the green kind of gets in your way and kind of like messes with your vision, but it's kind of like a little way to see uh, what's going on. We need to. Uh, we should probably go over all, all these views. So of course we have the uh, final result here. Um, we can go up here to source to see what we started working with. We can go to source alpha to see our, the alpha of the source that we're working with. So I mean we had just a blob. It was nothing. Now we have a uh, um, actually have an alpha within our um, new source here and it's kind of nice looking nice and crisp. The next one we got connected source. So we've got the source over the background over a black background um, cor corrected source not connected sorry about that. So it's basically the background uh, that instead of like a green screen, green screen it's the black. So we got color correction edges which um, we didn't work with yet there's an edge color correction down here. If you en enable it, you can um, start messing around with the edges. We've got our screen mat here. So that's our um, alpha that we're looking at. Same thing is coming down here and going to alpha. But um, if you go to alpha now, it's only going to show this entire square because of what we're looking at in our view. So we got inside mask, which we didn't do anything with. Outside mask, we didn't do anything with those. It's kind of like the inner outer key here that I showed you before, the one that was having all the artifacting problems or whatever that was annoying. Uh, but you can also do that in this one. So let's go to combine mat. So this is our mat here with the um, backdrop, the corrected backdrop. Status, you can kind of see um, like the green that's been coming in and stuff like that. Intermediate result. This is just with the keyer, um, and then we go to final result with all the other effects that we have on there, and this is what we get. 
So let's uh, let's get some. Let's see what we can. What looks nice with this D spill? What looks the best? Maybe we can try this right here. Hmm. Let's get it to where it's original. That actually brought some color back into here, and it brought some into the gun and everything like that. So let's. That was a good place to actually pick from right there. Um, so we used our despill bias to pick from there. The next uh, parameter I want to go over a little bit more is this uh, screen gain parameter. So the best way um, to use screen gain is to use your final result and get it as close as you can and then change your view here to status. And um, with status you can see some of the extra noise and we see down here that there's some extra noise that uh, we could get with our screen gain, this gray stuff, and uh, along the edges here we can we see some extra.